Now to a CBS News Colorado investigation as the mother of former Arapahoe County social worker Robin Nyseta is now claiming her daughter scammed her with an allegedly fake cancer diagnosis. Yeah, she's calling her daughter diabolical. Robin Nyseta is charged with nine counts for allegedly faking cancer to duck responsibility in an earlier criminal case. Her mother, Janice Dudley, was also indicted in the alleged cancer scheme. But Dudley is now insisting that she was duped by her daughter. She talked to CBS News Colorado investigator Brian Moss. The drama in this case, Michael, Karen, is just nonstop. Now it's family drama. A new twist now, as Nyseta's mother is calling out her own daughter. Robin Nyseta was supposed to go on trial today for allegedly filing a phony sex abuse report against an Aurora City Councilwoman. But that trial has been delayed. Nyseta is also charged with faking cancer to avoid responsibility in that earlier case. Daily chemo once a month. And her mother, who was at her daughter's side during this interview months ago, is now saying, we were so worried she was dying, she wasn't even sick. She scammed us big time. Nyseta shared MRI images with her lawyer, prosecutors, a judge, and the media, purporting to show she was suffering from cancerous brain tumors. But prosecutors now say the images were faked and that Nyseta created a fake doctor and fake medical records. And while they've charged Janice Dudley with being part of the alleged conspiracy, Dudley claims she had nothing to do with it. We find out it's all fake, said Dudley. I think she deceived us more than anyone else. It was all a scam, she said, calling it diabolical. Hi, this message is for Ms. Dudley. This is Dr. Marquez. She shared this voicemail from her daughter's supposed cancer doctor, who prosecutors now say never existed. Sorry, I missed you again. I will try to get in touch with you as quickly as I can. So who is that on that voicemail? Well, Janice Dudley now says she found a voice-changing device among her daughter's belongings. And she now believes the voice on that message is her daughter, Robin, pretending to be a doctor. Hopefully, um, they'll be able to touch base with you on Monday, and I hope you have a nice weekend. I am so stupid, said Dudley. You want to believe your kids. I'm just dumbfounded. And she called her daughter such an actress. Now, we were not able to corroborate Dudley's account of how things went down as her daughter did not respond to our email inquiry earlier today. Janice Dudley will certainly have a lot of explaining to do in court when that time comes. She is due in court August 11th, and she did tell me that she has not talked to her daughter in weeks. She said her daughter has changed her phone number. Hmm. Okay, so we know that the mom is going to appear in court soon, but what about our daughter's cases? And there are quite a number of cases. Robin and I said his first criminal case for filing a false child abuse report in 2022 was supposed to go to trial today, but that has now been delayed. And there are no court dates scheduled at this point for her second criminal case where she allegedly faked cancer. Nysetta is also the target of civil lawsuits, so she'll also have to answer to those. So she'll have a lot of time in court coming up uh, in the months and the years ahead. And we know you will continue to yeah. be following Yeah, we'll case. keep an eye on it. All right, Brian, thank you. Yeah.